Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Here we are with Andrew's 850R at the Cicada Haven. He's got a R and a sway bar we got off a of Red Baron. And this car has the trailing arm in link bushings busted on it. So we're going to repair those, replace them, got some new ones in and go from there finally get a hopefully decent video on doing that a lot of times you don't even know that these in link bushings are busted sometimes you can hear some banging around but big thing is it knocks your rear out of alignment you start eating up tires so first thing we do is put the car in park chalk the front wheels so the car don't roll forward we're going to jack up the back and put jack stands under it. Probably put the jack stands right on the delta link points. We're going to take the wheels off just to lighten the load a little bit. Give us some lighting under there. And then we're going to get at these links under here. Got the car on jack stands both sides. We're going to take the wheel off just for lightening the load back here. You probably don't have to take the wheel off to do the job but we're going to so there's that busted bushing there you can see it separated and you can put a pry bar behind it and move it around so normally what you do is you remove these two bolts they come out the top and then you put an 18 on the end of it back there kind of hard to reach and you do the same back here. And we're also going to be doing this anti sway bar because this anti sway bar that's on there is not an R anti sway bar, it's a little thinner. Because we the R one was busted and we put one on there that was a non R. But the first thing we're going to do is bust these loose here. Let me put the tools on you so I can tell you the size. These are probably 13s and these may be. 17s or 18s. The lower nuts were 21. The upper bolt heads were 14s. I knocked both of those loose. I'm going to knock them loose on the other side as well because we got replacements for both sides. Once you get the bolts out, it might cry out. It might not. I'm trying to get them to come out if they're already in pieces. Sometimes they do, sometimes. here that it catches it. So let me get something to pry that out a little bigger. I got that one worked out with the screwdriver. Now there's a, a 18 millimeter nut on the side of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting that nut out. I got a pivoting box in a wrench that I used. Not that one. It's like this one, but it's 18 millimeter. Let me go grab that. This was not broken, but since we have it, we're going to replace it. Heck, it is broken. The bottom part of it is broken. So we're going to knock this anti sway bar off, the two bolts there, to remove the anti sway bar and take the anti sway bar off this side to get that out of the way. So there you have it. This is the R bar 
that's the non R bar. So you can see the thickness difference in the bars. Now that the anti sway bar is out the way, you can see that's broken and it's easier to get at that 18 on the end. And it's easier to pull this towards out and get it out as well. So just take both sides loose, even if you're not replacing both sides. Now I'm gonna get something under there so that I can start pulling this off and that nut's tight in there and when you start trying to ratchet it it'll it'll go down so you gotta wedge something in there so that it doesn't go down on you while you're trying to take it loose I got it broke loose now I can pull it toward me like this hold it with one hand and unscrew it with the other and I don't want to do it all the way out because I don't want it to unhinge itself and make the suspension come apart but you want to keep this inside there some kind of way and then we're going to look at the bushings and get them installed I got that side out I left that sitting in there like that now when you get the part you gotta put the bolt through it reach up there start it getting threaded you're going to have to get it channeled in there before you can start tightening this end bolt up and it's got red thread locker on there you may want to do that but you really should get this aligned if you do these but you can put your nuts as close as you can to the marks that they were to get it close the left side one the driver's side one has two fins on them that's that one over there the passenger side one really has one fin on it so that's how that goes and we're going to compare the replacements from the Maylees with the Volvo we're going to put Volvo ones on Red Baron and Maylees on this one so we can see how they hold up this is the original one and they go in this way this is the prime point for making alignment adjustments that points toward the middle of the car this is the melee one that come out of this box over here and this is a Volvo one this Volvo one actually cost about $50 more than the melee one so that's the difference in the bushings on them but anyway like I said this car is going to get the melee ones here's the part number for the one on the passenger side from Volvo this is the part number for the one on the passenger side on the melee the Volvo ones come without hardware the melee ones come with new hardware I'm gonna set the part like that now I'm gonna slide the bushing in with the screw in it like this and then I'm gonna reposition that so I can start the screw in the end of that rod I moved the trailing arm link out of the way so that I can get the bushing in here and start it I worked the bushing in there now I'm gonna work the trailing arm back down in here and get that screw started by hand let me take two hands to get that in there I'm going to go in through this side, I'm going to put an 18 on a swivel, put it up in there and get that screw started and snug down. So I'm looking at it through the back here and I'm screwing it in on this side here with the ratchet and that 18 up in that hole with the universal joint and this going in. It's just, you know, takes a little time. I got this boxed in wrench supporting it so it has the right angle. Uh, I got this side almost snug, not quite. I got this side not quite snug, almost. So I'm going to get this other side off now. Get the 18 on the end. Pull that one off. And this one's easier to deal with. Here's the OEM one. You can see it was busted on that side. Here's the replacement. 
going in from the mailing one. And this is the part number for Volvo on the driver's side. I think I already touched base on that. I got the bolt on the end of it. Not all the way tight. I probably should have tightened that up before I put this anti sway bar in there and got the two bolts started on that. So let me try to get this bolt on the end of this link all the way tight. But I need to get it lined up with those holes first. But get all your bolts in before you tighten anything up. On this driver's side, I recommend that you put the bushing in when you got that bolt on the end most of the way in. You drop a couple of bolts down through there like that and then tighten that in 18 millimeter all the way so that thing's all the way tight and then pull these two bolts back out and maneuver your anti sway bar in there and then put all the bolts back in place so I'm going to tighten this 18 on the very end and then I'm going to take these two bolts back out put the anti sway bar in we have a flaw with the new hardware as you can see, the old hardware with the Volvo bolts, the washer goes on top. You can't get the washer off. And it has these big 18s on the bottom. Actually, these big 21s on the bottom that takes up that space. Well, your new bolts, it comes with one washer and it comes with small nuts. So those nuts won't work if you put the washer on top the way Volvo designed it to be on top so I'm gonna use the new bolts and the old nuts from Volvo on this outer bolt up here the washer will hit your brake lines so drop the washer down first and then put the bolt through the washer and through the holes because if you need a washer up against the head of the bolt it'll get hung up on your brake lines so now I got all the bolts through both sides. I'm gonna tighten up this 18 on the end over here. Then I'll be ready to torque these bolts down. And I'm gonna try to make sure I get the nuts in the same position they came off so that the alignment is close. Started having a little problem with this anti sway bar on this end. And I remembered the bolts go pointing toward the front of the car. So you put that bolt in there you put the bolt in there then you slide this on here and then you put the nuts on it the nuts go toward the front of the car you put a tool in there to hold the heads on it the ends of the bolt have a flat spot on them so you can put a box and a wrench on there hold the tip of it with like a, an eight millimeter and tighten those down you don't actually have to put nothing on the heads so it's an easy tip for the and that's way more. So this was the one on the driver's side. If you look on the underside of it, that was about to crack right there. It's got a hairline crack across it. So that was about to break off too. And that was the other one totally broke off the back. So here's everything back together. The links and stuff in there. I just torqued everything to like 35 foot pounds and let somebody post what you're supposed to do. I wouldn't do them no tighter than that. And that's that. I'm gonna put the tires back on, drop this thing to the ground. We can go racing. Back on the ground, wheels torque, ready to roll. Without all the banging around back here. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.